Good morning. Welcome to New England Wildflower Society. I'm Dan Jaffe, the propagator and stock bed grower, and today I'd like to talk to you about Myanthemum canadense, the Canada Mayflower. It's this little guy here. I've got a bit of an obsession with this plant. Um, I've got a certain amount of respect for plants that can really hold their own, and this is one of those strong spreading plants. What I really like about this species, though, is that despite the fact that it is a strong spreader, it tends to spread around other plants instead of going right through them like some more vigorous plants can. One of the other things I really like about Myanthemum canadense is it's capable of growing where few other plants will. If you look around here, you'll see a lot of these guys, pine trees. What we've got in this area is a dry, acidic shade, and there aren't that many plants that really grow well here. Myanthemum is one of the few that will. And now, welcome to the front parking lot at New England Wildflower Society. Not exactly our most hospitable area, and yet even here we can find Myanthemum growing and doing just fine. It doesn't get much shade in here, in fact it's really quite sunny, but it's still growing in a dry soil. This is really more gravel and rock than it is soil. It's doing well enough where there's actually a couple here that are producing fruit. This will be our last stop at today's tour of Garden in the Woods. We're down on the Hopbrook Trail right now, and for those of you who know the Hopbrook Trail, you'll realize that while we've kept the acid, pine needles, as well as the shade, what we've lost is our dry soils. Down here we're actually quite moist. In fact, uh, this big plant growing next to me here is a cinnamon fern, which really does enjoy the wet areas, and you can see Hop Brook right behind me. And yet even here, we still find Myanthemum growing, and again, doing quite nicely. I know that whenever I'm looking for a plant that I want to grow more of, or maybe introduce into my garden, I'm looking for a plant that has multiple seasons of interest. Myanthemum is definitely one of those. In the early spring, you've got a frilly white flower that really coats the ground when it's in bloom. Later in the season, you have a bright red berry, which a lot of wildlife really enjoy. I think, though, my favorite part of this plant is the way that the light shines through the leaves when the sun is low in the sky. Come on down to Garden in the Woods. Take a look around.